I don't trust you. I certainly don't trust my twin. I don't trust God. Matter of fact, I am the only trustable energy source on this entire planet. Only I know everything there is to know. I know it, I know it all. Can't tell me anything. I don't trust you. God can't tell me anything. Don't trust him either. Here's what we'll do. Here, let's let's do this, right? So you, if you, I don't, I don't trust like people that say you know you could manifest anything. That's bullshit. So if you can manifest me a talking flamingo that shits ice cream, then I'll believe that this is real or that God is like telling me the truth or or I might even believe and trust in my twin flame. Might like trust, start to trust more if like <clears throat> someone else creates some off the wall shit that I want because I'm afraid to create my own reality because I don't I don't trust that it's even possible to create my own reality. Like that's crap. It's not even possible to do. I don't trust anything that has to do with uh, creating stuff or believing in anything that anybody else says, including and not limited to anyone other than me. Right? You give me, like, it, maybe it doesn't have to be, like, a flamingo, a talking flamingo that shits ice cream, but, like, you know, oh, I want to be somewhat realistic, right? So, if you could manifest, like, uh, maybe, like, a four-story tall diamond... Like, then I'll believe you. You know, I'll just, I'll close my eyes, and you could manifest one of those things. And if, when I open my eyes, they have to be there, or all the bets off, and you're an idiot for even thinking that it's possible, or any of this. I don't trust anything that you say from that point on. And then I was right. And then I, I could go on living my life like a complete asshole. Cool. So I win either way. Because either I get a talking flamingo that shits ice cream and everybody's going to want my autograph. Or I get a four-story tall diamond. Or I just get to keep living like a complete jerk-off asshole for the rest of my life. I don't see how I lose in this deal. So is this, is this what you... Is this like how you want to you know approach your life and approach this journey is by not is by not trusting any any of the guidance that you're being given or any of your intuition or anybody that's trying to provide you guidance or trying to uh, provide any help along your journey and especially you know not listening to that intuition that is being provided for you by God, or you know, whatever you want to call, uh, whatever you want to call the Creator of the universe, the Creator, the Divine, uh, God, uh, whatever it is, however you, however you give it, give that energy, that life force, a name. You know, this is what it is. This is what you know. Building that relationship with God is. I use God because it's one syllable, so, so super easy. So let's let's do something uh, a little bit different today, and we can you close your eyes if you like, and you know just envision that you're on this. First of all, let everything go. Let all your responsibilities go. You know, just kind of relax into this. Uh, you can close your eyes. Don't think 
about any anything else outside of you, just just envision this. You're on top of this mountain, right? High above the clouds. And, you know, God or the divine, whatever, whatever you use is is there with you. And he says, Hey you, you know, this is this is what I ask of you. This is what I'm asking you to do. And and ahead of you is this, you know, vast obstacle obstacle course. And you know, he says, you know, take a step. You know, walk on this ledge. And as you're walking on this ledge, it starts to get narrower and narrower and narrower. And you say, well, you know, God, I'm going to fall. And God says, you know, don't worry about it. Like I have this harness attached to you and I have the other end of it. So, you know, you, you can't, you can't be hurt. You can't fall. There's, there's nothing that could happen to you. You're completely safe. All you have to do is trust me. That's all I'm asking. So you keep going. And and it's getting a little bit narrower and narrower. And you're like, God, like, I'm scared shitless. God says, There's nothing to worry about. Take the you know, put put that one put one foot forward, then put another foot forward. And so you do that. And then you get to a point where, you know, there's there's a gap. And you're high above these you're high above the clouds and what do I do? God says, jump. Jump over there. And you're like, <laughs> like you're cracked out, God. Like I'll never make that. There's no possible way. God's just like, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't tell you to do to do that if you couldn't make it, if that wasn't possible for you to make it. So just jump. And you know, you're like, oh, I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. God's just like, no, it's your choice. You could stay here. You've made it, you've made it this far. You could stay here. Or you can take that leap. Take that leap. And all along this path, all along this obstacle course, you're, you'll be getting different things that you desire. Different things in your heart that you desire. So you take that leap. And God rewards you with something that you want. Something that uh, is deep in your heart. Right? And then you, you go a little bit further. And there's this gigantic mountain that you have to climb. And you're like... You know, some of it's loose and you're, you're climbing up this mountain and, you know, it gets to a place where you don't know what to do. You know, you, you don't know how to proceed up this, up the face of this mountain. It's, it looks impossible. And you're like, well, I guess this is the end of the road. Like, this is it. You know, I guess I'm going to turn back. I guess I can't go any further. And God says, put your hand here and put your foot there. And then put your hand here and put your hand and put your foot, other foot over here. And you're, you're listening, you're trusting this intuition. And it gets you to the top of the mountain. You didn't have to give up. You, weren't, you didn't have to turn back. You just go one step at a time, one foothold, one hand here, one hand there, one foot in front of the other. And then you're being asked to, you know, climb down the other side of the mountain. You're like, oh, I'm scared of heights. But you're guided every step of the way down the mountain. Every single step of the way. And you might... Uh, start to slip and you might, you know, get a little bit petrified that that you're going to fall. 
but he's got you. You're not being led to something. You're not being led through this obstacle course of life without a harness on, without a safety harness on. And yes, you can go off on your own and, you know, choose to uh, jump off the side. You can choose to just sit there and not do anything. You can choose to turn back. But every step of the way through this obstacle course, you're safe. And you're being guided all the way where you want to go. All you have to do is trust that if you put one foot in front of the other, that you will absolutely get there. There's no question about it. Right? That's all you're being asked to do. You can relax into that. Surrender to that. Trust that. So if you're ready to take uh, the next step into coaching sessions, uh, sign up for a free 15-minute consultation with me, uh, and we go through you know, what that entails and the commitment involved uh, on your, on, you know, to yourself. And also comment, on, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time.